Hey y'all, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. All right, so I got a confession to make. I'm a bit gullible. I'm a bit gullible. I'm even more gullible when I'm vulnerable. So when I first moved to Toronto, I uh, was very desperate for a job and I was looking on all types of websites like Craigslist and, and Kijiji and stuff. And there are actually some castings on Kijiji and Craigslist. It's how I found the job that I have now. But unfortunately there were a lot of scams as well. I think I got scammed like twice in my first year when I moved here and you know, after after about the, the second time, I was just like, okay, I'm never gonna go on Kijiji again. Like, unless I'm selling something, like I'm never I'm never gonna go look for a job on Kijiji again. I'm just like putting my foot down. But yeah, I got scammed out of like three grand or something like that. And and it's the worst because like they're preying on people who like really need the money and like really need a job and like they pretended to be this like company that wanted to hire me to do like a photo shoot or whatever. And then you know it just like yeah, I ended up getting scammed hard. So I have a sore spot when it comes to scammers. I'm sure you all do. Everybody's kind of fallen for it, like maybe once or twice, especially like, let's say uh, if you're in a, in a city like Toronto and, and you're looking for a house or, or a place to live, there's lots of scams of people pretending to be like Airbnbs and stuff like that. And uh, you fall for it because I mean, it's too good of a price. You can't not pass it up. So with that bearing in mind, we are doing scammers getting owned. And I know that it's gonna be good because, I, I don't know, it just has a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Scammers getting owned? Yeah, I like that. How's my hair? How's my, how's my face? How's my, what's happening? What's happening? What side do you wanna be on, ponytail? This one or that one? Decide. All right, it's fine. Got caught in the rain on my way home, guys. It was just take, taking me as I am. I don't have time to fix myself. Hello, it is your neighbor with some car trouble. Can you assist me? My neighbor? I'm experiencing car trouble and left my wallet mistakenly at home. Is this Jeff? Yes. Oh, you should have said so. I can just grab your wallet and bring it to you. I am far away to bring it. Could you send Apple Pay and I will pay you back shortly? Absolutely, Jeff. What type of neighbor would I be if I didn't help you out, right? Thank you. Just send the amount of 50 to this number. When did you change your number though, Jeff? I just spoke to you yesterday. If you could send $50 in that amount to this new number, please. Right, right. Really quick though, while I try to find my card, are you going to the barbecue this weekend? Yes. <coughs> Jeff, I thought we agreed we weren't going. Now I have to go. I will go or not go. Are you or aren't you? I have a flat tire and will need $50 to replace. Speaking of flat, Linda and her flat ass announced yesterday that she's bringing the potato salad. The only thing that she needs needs to bring is her audacity because she knows very well that I bring the potato salad every year. <laughs> I love it already. And she can deny it all she wants, but we all know she doesn't use Duke's mayonnaise. I know you too, Jeff. You're just too polite to say it. Yes, I know. And Carol says she's bringing her famous apple pies. I saw her buying them frozen one day at the Piggly Wiggly. You guys actually have places called the Piggly Wiggly? <laughs> Grandma's recipe my ass. Okay. <laughs> He just doesn't know how to respond at this point. How much did you need again, Jeff? I just found my card. 50. Speaking of cards, did you send one to Gladys down the street? You know, her cat died. So sad because you know how close she was with that cat. But at least we know there won't be cat hair in the banana pudding this weekend, am I right? Yes, you are right. I need the payment of $50. I am at the store and waiting. Which store? Hey, I tell you what, I'm gonna spend $60 so you can grab me some potatoes and Duke's mayo while you're there. If Linda wants a or that's what she's gonna get. That is fine. 60. Homie's probably like, oh my god, 60 bucks. <laughs> god, I just remembered it's Kathy's 60th birthday. Grab a card for me too, if you don't mind. Something nice, but not too nice. Something that says, happy birthday, even though we all know you slept with Janet's husband. Okay, send payment now. I am in a rush. Okay, let me get my glasses. These damn numbers are so small. Speaking of small, you know Peter's son is single again. Why small? They say his wife was cheating on him, but hey, he takes after his dad. Pin prick Peter. That's why. Then I can't really say that I blame her. Know what I mean? Send payment quickly to this number. I think this card is expired. <laughs> oh my god. Kind of like Luann's license. They really need to get that old bat off the road. She took out two bicycles and a fire hydrant yesterday. Bye. What? Why, Jeff? Was it something I said? Don't text back. Excuse me? Stop. Well, since we are barking orders, why don't you tell that wife of yours to do us all a favor and stop bringing that dog <laughs> casserole to every barbecue? Don't. Respond anymore. Don't expect a Christmas card. <laughs> well done. 
That was lovely. I enjoyed every moment. Who's got the time for that though? Like y'all must be bored. Maybe I'll do that. I get scammed quite a bit. I actually got a message from a scammer today. What did it say? Maybe it was just a wrong number. Hello, this is Fleet Optics. I have your order and we'll ring your door in the next few minutes. I may also try phoning if we have any issues. So please answer if I do. Otherwise, please check your doorstep. Thank you. And I just said, I don't know what that is. And I mean, you know what that is? Does that sound like a scam to you? I don't know. They didn't answer. <sighs> I'm showing off my manicure low key. <laughs> Like low-key, you guys notice? I'm just like low-key, like look at my fingers. Did them myself, I'm very proud, in case you can't tell. Hi Paul, I'm in a conference right now. Can't talk, but let me know if you get my text. CEO. Hey Bruce, I got it. Let me know when you're free and I'll make myself available. Okay, I need you to do something for me. CEO. Signing every text with CEO. Are you there? CEO. Yes, what do you need? How far are you from a store? I need you to get me an eBay card there. Can you? CEO. Just in case you did, it's the CEO here. I'm the CEO. I sign all my messages with CEO. I can do that, how much do you need on it? Okay, tell me when you get there so I can advise you on the denomination to get CEO. Are we gonna read out CV CEO every time, Charlotte? Probably not, I think I think they get the idea. Okay, I'm about 10 minutes away. Okay, tell me when you get there. CEO. Okay, they have them, what do you need? Okay, eBay gift card, tell me the denomination they've got, I'm assuming. 25, 50, 100. Okay, get me two cards worth of $100 each, tell me when purchased. Okay, going to pay. Okay, tell me when done. Okay, got them, heading back to the office. Okay, bring out the card from the pack, then scratch off the back code and send me pictures of them. Well, I'll be in the office in 10 minutes, I'll just hand them to you. Just wait there and do that, I'm waiting. No, it's needed now in the conference, it's urgent, so just do what I asked of you. I'm already on my way, I'll be there in three minutes. I got you an extra just in case. No, wait, and do what I asked you to do. I got you three $100 gift cards, I'm doing what you asked. Are you okay? What sort of rubbish is that? I asked you to send me pictures of the card and you're saying something else. So you want me to return the cards? I'm confused. Hello? I'm waiting for the pictures. I'm waiting in the shopping parking lot. Do you want these pictures or no? The chairman is here. Don't come and cause a distraction here. The chairman is here, okay? I'm the CEO and the chairman is here. Send me the pictures. Oh, did you want the back? Yes, send me the pictures of the back code scratched. Why are you wasting my time? I've told you what to do and you're delaying everyone here. You know how emotional I get. Can I just give them to you in the office? Can I just text you the code? What is your problem? Tell me if you've won. I said bring out the card, scratch off the back code and send me pictures of it. Okay, one second. Which part do I scratch? With my nail? Yes, the back. Oh, I have to remove it from the paper. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. Do it. Okay, I'll scratch off all three. Yes, send me pictures. Do you think I can get a raise anytime soon? I've been working here for two years and Jan has only been here for one. I think I work harder than Janet does because she's always on vacation and she started that fire in the microwave that one time trying to make popcorn. Of course she did. Of course Janet started a fire in the microwave. Janet. Okay, seems you're joking with me, right? You'll get a sack. You're crazy. Send me downloaded pictures. Everyone knows Janet started that fire. Okay, sending them now. I don't know if they act it. Should I send the other two? Do you want the others scratched? Stop lying. You didn't get any cards, so go to hell. CEO. <laughs> I'm assuming that they didn't know. That's sneaky though. I'm assuming that it was somebody that knew who the CEO of the company was. That's freaky, man. That's freaky. How do they know that they work there? It's a lot. It's a lot to process. Oh, we got, we got a random Facebook ad. These are so annoying, man. I get so many of them and I'm like, hi, do I know you? And they're like, no, you don't, but uh, we should be Facebook friends. And I'm like, why? I don't know who you are. Well, you know, we should. Why are, why are they adding me? Like, why are you adding me? And I see that they've added like a bunch of my friends as well. It's like they go into everybody's friends list. It's weird, man. Do I know you? No. Do we have mutual friends? I'm a stranger on Facebook and I came across your profile and it looks interesting. That's what it's is, I like your profile and it looks interesting to add you as my friend and I decided to add you as my friend and I hope that we can chat to know more about each other if you don't mind. <laughs> I bet. Nice to meet you. I'd also bet that's not you in the pics, is it? It's just me on the picture. Okay, so where are you from? I'm from Miami, Florida, but now in Africa with my mom. Where are you from? The US. Are you married or single? What does that matter? I just want to know more about each other. Like what exactly? I mean, if you are married or single, if you don't mind me asking. I get the impression you're using a fake Facebook profile to fish or scam stupid single males. Prove me wrong. Also, I have a used lawnmower and half jar of peanut butter for sale. Care to make an offer? Have you ever been talked to someone in Africa before? Oh sure, I've gotten plenty of emails from Nigerian princes that just need 
$500 up front to release the $3 million I've inherited from a long lost family member. So how about $35 for the lawnmower and $5 for the half jar of peanut butter? <laughs> okay, so did you send them? The mower and the half jar of peanut butter? No, you're gonna have to pick them up or pay for shipping to Africa. So $40 then? Would you like to pay in cash, check, or electronics funds transfer? Not yet. So are you still talking to them? Talking to who? I mean, the mower doesn't say much since I ran it out of gas and the peanut butter just sits there because there's a bread shortage in the US. Okay, have you been talked to someone in Africa before? Yes, I told you. I've been contacted by several Nigerian princes. Did you just want the peanut butter? I'll go down to $4 for it and $30 for the push mower if you buy both. Did you know about the bread shortage here? It's a huge problem. Okay, seriously, do you have any bread? I consider trading the mower for three loaves of bread. I'd have to keep the peanut butter though because sandwiches. Do you like sandwiches? Yes, okay. Can I get a pic of you? Ew! Pretty sexy, huh? Okay. <laughs> now I want a pic of you. Send me a selfie? No, you first. I already sent you one. It's not you. Now it's your turn. Come on, don't be like that, baby. Uh, that image of a monkey is gonna be forever ingrained in my head. What is that? Like a swollen butt? Is that what its butt looks like? Or is there like, is it got a disease or something? Looks painful. If that is your butt, it looks painful. All right, guys, we got one more. Really, I'm so happy I got $150,000 delivered to me at my doorstep when I apply for the grant and you don't have to pay it back. You can also apply too. Can you please stop? No one is buying that you're my grandma. She's a 90 year old living in a tiny apartment by herself on a fixed income. You should be ashamed of yourself. How do you mean you are ashamed for yourself? This is a real and legitimate program. LOL, if you're my grandmother, then what did you call me as a child, Bethany? Well, you'd be wrong because she's not my grandmother. She's my fiance's grandmother. I only met her for the first time a week ago. Don't quote me wrong, okay? What I'm referring to is that the program is just going on now and is real and legitimate program. You expect me to believe that? Look, I have to go. You should stop getting into her account. No one is gonna believe you. You should just stop. And then it's just like a FedEx package? Get a real job and stop being a terrible person. How dare you talk to me like that? Also, she was married for years to an English major and wouldn't use your broken English. Do you think I want to dumb to you or scam you non this? You're not my grandma. Yes, I think you are a scammer. Trust me and believed me on this. Oh, you're so persuasive. Don't send me the link so I can enter all of my personal information and get the money. I need money. I see now that you are my grandmother. Your broken English has convinced me. Are you kidding me with this? Nope, send it along grandma. I'll send all my banking info. Would it be okay if I send the bank accounts of all my friends and family too? Okay, send to me now. <laughs> they just don't understand sarcasm, do they? You have to send me the link first. I don't know my info off the top of my head. You must be dumb then. Okie dokie, I got my info. Are you ready? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. But really sure? I don't wanna waste your time. I know how you get sometimes, grandma. Send your info first. Okay, the routing info is, account number is, the answer to all my security questions is 42. Address is 321 Fake Street. Give me your text number. It's blah, blah, blah. It doesn't accept text, only calls. What about your email? Grandma, you know I'm not allowed to have email. That would be a violation of my parole. Meaning, so you don't have email now. You don't remember the murders? So many murders. The claim agent, they allowed text because you will need to follow some rule and regulations before getting your money delivered to your doorstep. And I paid $900 before getting my prize from them. Is for certificate and shipping fee. Are you still here with me? Of course, I have to call my PO real quick. Go ahead and take the money from my account you have my info. I have to go now. In a few minutes, I'm heading for a drug screening so the state can ensure I'm still taking my antipsychotics. And what happened to that busload of children never happens again. No, you will just buy iTunes card, $900 for them only. You can buy now and send to me here to help give it to them and confirm your payment and send your money for you with your bank info I got here. And how long will it take you to get the iTunes card now so to help you send to them and immediately they confirmed it done, they quickly send your money. I'm not allowed to purchase iTunes card as part of the settlement with a family visiting from Seattle. What I did to their dog was super messed up and there's a stain on the carpet. Go and buy detergent to clean it. There's only so much detergent can do. I'm very serious about this. Once you buy iTunes cards, you get your prize. I'm serious too. I can't buy iTunes cards. The judge will put me back in prison, grandma, and I'm not going back. I'd rather be cut down in a hail of gunfire before going back to the big house. No, nothing will happen to you, my daughter. Wait, mom, are you my grandma or my mom? For what? Who are you? I'm starting to think you're not my mother. What are you trying to figure out now? Who are you? Don't you know who you are chatting with then? I don't. You said you were my mom, are you? When did say that? But you called me your grandma. 
You called me daughter, but you called me your grandma. You know these aren't the same thing, right? What is going on with your money now? I think I'm getting a free $150,000. You are delaying your prize. Have you heard about this new program? Have help you text the claim agent yet? All you have to do is send me $900 in iTunes cards and all your bank account info. Then I can have the agent send money to you. Trust me, lovely daughter, I'm totally really, really real. <laughs> it seems you are <laughs> off and dumb. You don't want the free money? Seems like you're the dumb one. I think you have injury brain. Bad memory. It seems you aren't believing me. Bad memories? Who'd not money account yet? Are you insane with your message? Omaha. Jerry says money dog might send. I'm sorry to hear that you are going back home and then you have a safe trip. You know I'm going back home tonight, but I'll probably have to stay late. Are you still there? I have an exciting program where you can get 150 trillion from the government. Go for it. All I need is $900 in iTunes gift cards and your banking information. Iya baba odi niwan ogan mapa ebi ni. Oh, you know I don't speak those crazy scammer language. Where are you? Daklam silala bim. They blocked him. Oh my god. That went on for so long. Who's still here? Is anybody still here? Anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Do you want a part two? I could definitely do a part two. I really enjoy this a lot. I really, really, it's like instant karma, but not so instant because it's actually quite drawn out. But anyways, you get what I mean. Tell me your scammed stories down below in the comments. Did you ever toy with a scammer? Let me know. And subscribe! Thank you.